Speaking of food, some of the most talented culinary masters gathered in Chicago earlier this month to celebrate influential people behind American food and culture. And one of our local chefs was honored with the prestigious James Beard Foundation Cookbook hmm. Hall of Fame wrote the 19, for a book he wrote in the 1990s. I'm Michaela Romero talks to the chef about what it means to him to be part of culinary history. To some of you, Chef Joe Randall is known as the Dean of Southern Cuisine. And for those of you who don't know him, he has been in the hospitality and food industry for over 55 years. And he is being recognized around the world for his culinary influence. And he says he hopes to keep his heritage alive through his recipes. Well, I wrote the book in the, in the 90s, and I had started an organization called the Taste of Heritage Foundation, and I was having African-American chefs around the country do dinner. And the point was to get people to acknowledge the contribution that African-Americans have made to food in America. And today, over two decades later, Chef Randall is being recognized for writing all those recipes down. Yeah, that looks good. Well, it's a wonderful honor. You know, uh, uh, the, the James Beard Foundation is the most notable food service uh, organization that awards uh, people. It's like getting the Oscars for chefs and restaurateurs uh, like they do in Hollywood doing, uh, for, for motion pictures. And that is just one of his many accomplishments. Chef Randall's contributions go beyond the book. Back in 2016, Randall and other known chefs from around the world were recognized inside the Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Some of his items are on display there for people to learn about. My book, my colander, is all a part of that. He said he used that colander to create his famous recipes for over 50 years. It's part of the history. You know, recipes are passed on either by verbal and that's the way African Americans did it for years because we weren't allowed to write. We weren't allowed to, to write books. We were told people would write down what we said and then put their name on it and take our contributions. We were invisible in a sense. But now he says he finally feels seen and is grateful he can shine a light on all the culinary contributions of the people from his heritage. I can only say that this, if you live long enough, work hard enough, sooner or later somebody will say something nice about you. In Savannah, Michaela Romero, WTOC. Yeah, so happy to see this happen for Chef mm -hmm. Joe. I mean, he has done a lot of cooking on WTOC, uh, both on our shows. He had his own cooking show on WTOC for a while. He had a cooking school in Savannah. So he is a Savannah treasure, and now great to see a, a national icon as well. Yeah, I love him talking about write it down, have it written down, because, you know, so much of this for 100 years or more was just passed down verbally, and it might have been from mom to son or mom to daughter. Hey, add this and this and this, and that's the recipe. I no, don't no, you need to write it down. You'll just remember it. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, now you.